have a personal time for an end of year retreat please write it down in my opinion and i say this as an opinion you are not a serious christian if you actually allow this period to just pass up until resumption or next year without dedicating at least one two three days to spend time with god please write it down a retreat is a time that you take alone there are family retreats there are corporate retreats but this kind of retreat is between you and god a time alone with god what do you do during retreats please write it down number one the first thing that you do during a retreat is thanksgiving personal thanksgiving just like we did here but now you are is between you and your maker your savior you are thanking him personally for all that he's done number two appraisal you appraise the year in light of scripture in light of god's blueprint retreats are moments where we appraise our lives you sit down what assignment has god given me how did i live 2021 can i say i want to repeat the same thing in 2022 are we learning something now most people do not go forward because they don't look back and ask questions for many of you as you appraise yourself you find out ah in march in april and may i made this and that decision look what it's cost me now i learn from it you are the retreat is now profiting you and let me advise you children couple don't start don't stop one another from having profitable retreats using all kinds of scripture what god has joined together leave allow yourself to spend time with with the lord or parents and children or children and parents there is a corporate retreat but there is a personal retreat where it is you and god you can lock yourself in a room you have the resources you can go somewhere there are all kinds of places where you can stay and flog it out with destiny there are six areas you must review six areas of your life number one your spiritual growth and progress just a quick guide and we'll pray number one your spiritual growth and progress you want to spend time having a retreat you must review your spiritual growth and progress can i say i have grown spiritually sincerely number two your level of mental transformation the second area you must review unashamedly have i sustained superior beliefs or i still have my old wrong faulty thinking have i transited has there been that level of mental maturity number three your health you may have heard it in my teachings that there was a year that i i found out that three years in a row the worst performing area of these six areas i'm about to list to list was my health the area i did not really pay attention to three years in a row after doing all this i found out that the worst performing area in my life was my health i took that as a warning from the lord you would die the death of a fool if you don't start paying attention to your health and many people you are listening to me now we've done a few teachings that relate to that this is one of the things you learn during retreat what happened this year i ate carelessly i did this one i did that how many times did you fast this year two times the holy ghost says write it you are seeing by yourself with all the attack this year you fasted only twice write it down and you didn't even finish it six corporate fast you did not family fast the one you called for you did not even do it can i tell you this your retreat is not a true retreat if it's not completely honest between you and god this is you and God alone. You must be sincere 100%. My health. Did I take care of myself? Was I careless? Did I spend more on clothes than I did my health? Did I spend more eating all kinds of things? The sons of the prophet said there is death in the pot. Did I kill myself more this year than every other year combined? 
you write it down you don't write it to condemn yourself you write it because you are about to rise to a new level are you getting the idea now number what now three number four the fourth area that you have to and don't rush that area is your financial progress write it down when you go for retreats you have to sit down and look at your finances for some of you you will be surprised when you see how much god has blessed you with this year and you check there was nothing is left now careless decisions wrong decisions wrong companies that ate up the glory of god revealed through your finances now you write it down with a view to correcting these things maybe you made business decisions you didn't think you didn't seek counsel you, you were rash in it and now you paid the price you lost money don't feel bad but write it and learn maybe carelessness you went for every wedding and every birthday whether it was your own or not you saw something in an area you went there and you were dancing and spray your children's school fees write it down <laughs> retreats are we learning finances and don't don't allow people who tell you that making financial progress is not important sooner or later you'll find out that you were not sincere with yourself it's better to flog it out early so that it gives you the liberty to serve god in peace are we together and then number five your purpose and your destiny lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me remember in the law of seasons i taught you that there are four seasons life is separated into four major seasons there is the morning stage there is the afternoon stage there is the evening stage there is the night stage zero to 25 is your morning stage 26 to 50 is your afternoon stage 51 to 75 is your evening stage anything after 75 is your night stage many of us what you would have done from 0 to 25 now you are 30 or 40 or 45 or 50 you are just getting born again is this year you got born again now i salute you for giving your life to jesus christ it's, it's better late than never but some of you have not even received the baptism of the holy spirit you see so before you start this entire journey and then on learning some of these wrong things that came either from culture came from wrong background came from wrong mentorship and now start embracing the truth it will take time so you write it down for many of us you have not really found what you will spend your life doing as far as the kingdom is concerned retreats at times when we take an honest appraisal can i tell you there is nothing dr miles dearly revered mentor he said this he said that it is not necessarily how long we live that matters even though longevity is a blessing and it's a provision that we must press for but that efficiency is by far greater than longevity jesus spent 33 years and within 33 years he made a mark can you imagine he spent 30 years preparing for his assignment and in three years he was done completely done three years until today the world is grateful until forever for three years of effective living dr munro of blessed memory also teaches that the wealthiest place it's not the oil mines in Nigeria, parts of Africa and the Middle East, or the gold mines in Congo, South Africa and all of that, but the symmetry, he says, where dreams, books that were never written that would have blessed people, books, people died with books, people died with businesses, people died with anointings like Elisha and never gave it visibility and manifestation. Can I tell you this? whether you like it or not no matter how you jump up and down you are getting older every year i must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day jesus is talking not an angel for the night cometh when no man no matter who you are once you are a man when the night comes you cannot walk again you may not die 
but you cannot walk again god's servant bishop oedeko will say no matter how much of a good footballer you are if you are 50 years as a footballer you are retired by force is that true when they go to look for sports stars have you seen people now even our, our job in you know in in nigeria here and parts of africa they say we are looking for a job from maybe 20 21 or 22 or whatever it is to, till in fact they even consider 27 or 26 or 28 they say well we are not sure that they will give you anything you have to settle down and know that there is timing to destiny and then to contend for the grace for speed are we together and then the last number six you look at your relationships relationships are very important advantageous connections we rise and we thrive on the strength of the kind and the quality of relationships that we have the bible we've done teachings on that here the bible says he that walks with the wise will be wise himself but it says the companion of fools shall be destroyed say retreat this is one of the major reasons why we are giving break so that you go and spend time with god many of you at the end of your retreat you will be left with tears not tears of condemnation but you will be honest with yourself and you will know that i've not been living my life effectively the result you will now make up your mind and say this issue of reading the bible once in a while or when there is trouble praying once in a while fasting once in a while i must bring a systemic dimension to my life that means i have to put systems that ensure continuity and predictability i must put a system that makes sure i pray all the time whether i like it or not i study all the time i fast all the time i do whatever i'm doing you have to put in those systems retreats are important and then of course in a retreat you plan you plan for the year coming you have to plan it is said that he who does not he who fails to plan has planned to fail many of us do not plan the year you just enter it and whatever you meet there you are happy to go with it plan your life what is january going to be like for you what is plan even if you do not achieve it at least let it be that you set goals visionary people and all leaders globally will tell you that one of the secrets to their efficiency is that they don't just stumble into their days they plan don't let someone just call you in the morning and say how is your day like today nothing you're not doing anything i'm on my way coming there's one movie i just watched and you come and find out that 24 hours has gone like that and you just forgive yourself sweep it under the carpet and do it again you open your eyes you are in october you have not achieved anything hallelujah praise the name of the lord make sure that you do something that brings glory to the name of jesus for some of you god has blessed you and god has helped you i am challenging you ensure that out of the resources god has given you that you are able to be a blessing to someone not for showmanship but that at least you can reach out to someone some of you celebrate this season alone you have never given anything even one tear of rice to anybody your neighbors even those who are living with you is it's a very bad attitude aside from being a bad christian attitude it's a bad attitude for a human being even animals share when they kill sometimes they they eat and leave the rest for all kinds god knows how he designed the system give us will never truly lack are we learning by the grace of god our prophetic word for the next year comes out every 31st 6 p.m on the dot through all our social media platforms after this now i'll be spending time with the lord having this retreat first for myself and then of course for the ministries our culture to receive to come and say lord as you have directed us this is how far we have come what next and let me say something i know there are people who do not believe in prophetic words that's all right i mean everyone has a right to 
you know look at his conviction based on what god has said but let me tell you this for us as a family of faith we don't just choose something just because it is there no we look at what god is doing across the globe what god is doing in africa what god is doing in nigeria and out of that god himself brings the word that guides us as a global family and so i don't want you to take the prophetic words lightly when you receive them know that they came out of a place of prayer a place of fasting a place of truly interacting with the spirit of god and when it comes we we'll put it and that becomes the compass that drives what we do even for 2022 in the name of jesus christ so today 19th december is our last service our last service means that we're not going to hold any meeting again as a ministry until our resumption by god's grace our resumption will be 16th of january 2022 if you'll be dead by that time tell those who have gone ahead of us that we are still faithful and we're coming but if you'll be alive i'd like you to clap like next year hallelujah i hope i hope your clapping is not out of fear listen listen it's good to live long we'll live very long but let me tell you this never fear death one day i hope i will teach on death i will demystify that thing it will not make you want to die it will just make you see that so this is really it about death to be absent in the body the bible says is to be present with the lord it didn't say you're on your way going to be absent is to be present that's it your eyes either open or closed there is nothing midway your eyes are open or your eyes are closed to be absent in the body paul says is to be present with the lord so please mark it 16th 14th for zaria and 16th here is for um abuja and of course that also means our global family every other thing about what we're doing our expansion and so on and so forth would we'll, we'll just leave that for next year and the lord will grant us grace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and i declare over your life the kind of favor that must follow you and overtake you i stand by the privilege of priesthood and i declare koinonia hear me in the name of jesus christ may that grace for favor rest upon you now number two i decree and declare that every arrow and every enchantment and every ill speaking of darkness programmed over you and your family members either to cause losses to cause death to cause retrogression by the power that raised christ from the dead we cancel it now number three every attack programmed over your spiritual life your prayer life your word study life your ability to fast and to love god every attack coming from the pit of hell haunting you to make sure you do not end this year in praise and glory in the name of jesus may the lord arise like the warrior that he is and scatter everything that is not of god number four we call death by name you are a spirit and we speak that in the name of jesus every instruction given to you to fall upon any one of us here or upon our families our children in the name of jesus i prophesy oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory we banish you in the name of jesus the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous every programming for mourning every programming for tears waiting for you 
that before you cross into 2022 you must cry i decree and declare may my god who is also your god go before you and ensure that your joy is preserved hear me anyone holding anything that belongs to you that from january prophecy has come that must be released i declare from now till december apakatosh katia from now till december 31st i decree and declare by all means it must enter your hand by all means it must enter your hand for those of you who are going to be traveling whether in the air whether by road whether by land let me prophesy to you anybody waiting at the road to stop you and kidnap you in the name that is all, up, above all names may fire come from heaven and consume them anyone waiting to kidnap your children waiting to kidnap your loved ones the earth opens and swallows them in the name of jesus christ now there are some of you who are saying apostle as it is right now sincerely i do not even know where the resources to celebrate with god's people will come maybe i'm the breadwinner of my family members and as it is now i do not even know i want you to find rest there is the prophetic dimension of wealth and i stand as one sent by god i decree and declare the helper of destiny assigned to see to it that you do not cry i declare that their ministry must be fulfilled in your life in the name of jesus christ and for as many who will be involved in one project or the other kingdom project during this time whether it's a crusade whether it's a bible study session whether it's a concert, whether it's some time of prayer with family and friends, I pray for you. The same result you have seen here, carry that same grace and reproduce it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me prophesy over your life. You are departing from this place in peace. Therefore, any man that fights you goes down instantly. Goes down instantly. hallelujah there are some of you this is the period of attacks all kinds of attacks in dreams all kinds of attacks in your health a time to glorify god for the gift of jesus now the devil comes to attack you i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead every terminal disease and every orchestration of darkness that will not let you rest must go for you now now i stand by prophecy and the privilege of priesthood i knock on the gate of 2022 and i declare 2022 open up for god's people in the name of jesus christ open up for god's people with a triumphant entry they will step into 2022 with a triumphant entry not with mourning not with crying not with pain with joy i prophesy a triumphant entry into 2022 in the name of jesus christ hear me and for all who have stood in prayer in giving in sacrifice online offline with this ministry even if you are not directly part of this vision but that through your life and everything about your life god has helped to reveal jesus in and through this ministry i decree and declare the blessing that is upon this house may it rest upon you also <laughs> hallelujah because we are sent to the body of christ and we are a people of love we stand as a family of faith we pray for every ministry represented in abuja 
we pray for every ministry represented across this nation and we agree oh god that what you are doing here we extend that prayer and we lift up an incense of prayer to every ministry across this city from the north to the south the east and the west of abuja we pray for every man and every woman of god that calls upon the name of the lord we declare that the blessing of heaven rests upon them nothing will frustrate the work given to their hands in the name of jesus we pray for everyone whether christian muslim traditional worshiper i don't care anybody who is within our territory because they are there and because we are there we declare that in this season may the blessing of heaven rest upon them whether christians whether muslims whether traditionalists it does not matter with the love of jesus as revealed in this season we declare you are blessed in jesus name you are blessed in jesus name you are blessed in jesus name and finally i declare please place the account and i want to speak over it that in the name that is above all names everyone who is participating in our end of year sacrifice beginning from this night and all through god is not a fraudster god is not a scammer he does not play games with people therefore i pray in the name that is above all names for every one dollar one naira one pound one euro whatever currency that comes in here as a sacrifice only god knows the things that people are going to give up to honor this prophetic instruction as a global family i pray for you that in the name of jesus christ for every sacrifice you are making may god come through for you in a fearful way in the name of jesus christ by faith i bless your givings by faith i bless your sacrifice let it rise as a memorial before god you will not give and go down in the name of jesus and come 2022 everyone here tonight i declare you will return the only difference is that you will be 10 times greater in the name of jesus christ i place an anointing upon the session of praise and worship right now and i pray that it will not be an ordinary praise that the sounds that come from here will step into the realm of the spirit and bring deliverance and bring healings and bring salvation in the name of jesus christ amen and amen